everyone so today I'll be doing another lip swatch video and the brand that I'm focusing on is Jouer Cosmetics Jouer? Jouer? I'm not too sure how to pronounce their brand name but yeah it's their lip creams their matte lip creams and yeah I have five of them I have all the mattes so yeah I'm gonna be swatching them on my lips so basically these claim to be like a soft matte lip cream that is very comfortable on the lips not too drying like, not like everything else in the market at the moment but they are also liquid lipstick competitors so they basically dry to a matte finish and are claiming to be long wearing as well but the only differentiating factor is that they are they are supposed to be a lot more comfortable than other liquid lipsticks so yeah with that beginning thought you'll just move on to the swatches Having seen all the swatches, basically what I have on my lips now is Noisette. It's the last one that I tried. Yep, this one. And basically, if you guys have been watching my videos and hearing me talk about the liquid lipsticks, I have been quite obsessed with the brownie sort of liquid lipstick families and having tried a few. Those of Colour in Cork, Ultra Satin Lip from Colourpop, another one from Jeffree Star, Ofra, all those. I think this Noisette <laughs> is one of the most wearable browns that I have seen. It's not too warm, it's not too cool, it kind of leans in between. In person, it actually looks slightly darker than on camera, but it is still very wearable. It matches my NC 25-30 to 30 skin tone very well, and it doesn't make me look too old or make any features too dull and that kind of things. This colour is really nice and I might actually wear it to work. <laughs> Anyways, having done the swatches for these, as you can see they have sort of dried down already and on the lips they don't set instantly like some of the better formula ones however they are pretty long lasting i've worn the lighter shades for a whole work day and yes they did tend to fade after i ate an oily meal but it wasn't too drastic and i was able to reapply without it looking patchy which is great and also this might be a downside but these don't dry fully matte if that makes sense it's kind of like 
three quarters there. It has a transfer and it's pretty hydrating on the lips. It isn't too drying which explains why it doesn't dry down fully matte. And they're very comfortable. It feels like you have nothing on the lips. I generally am pretty comfortable wearing liquid lipsticks but these really feel like nothing on the lips and I would describe the formula of these to be I don't think they're as liquidy as the Colourpop ones they're actually just slightly thicker than that but they're not fully moussey as well that's why you're able to get a very even canvas without it looking patchy even the browns which usually look patchy on me are not patchy which says a lot and also I love the packaging of these very small and handy and also the doe foot isn't too long like the Kat Von D ones that are really difficult to apply because you know if you have a shaky hand like I do you kind of like have to be really still in order to apply a very precise application but these are short and you know you have full control over them which is great I think that the formula is one that is not really done in the market, it's kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, like the only other soft lip cream that I've heard of is the NYX one and those are, they are liquid lipsticks but they don't dry fully matte, this is like an upgraded version of that if that makes sense and the formula is just slightly more liquidy and also in this slide, if you notice, if you check their website down below in the description box, they have metallic shades as well. I didn't pick up those and I should have, but basically those are really out there and they're fully metallic and they give you a very amazing sheen on the lips. Yeah, I think the Kylie Jenner lip kits recently came out with shimmering ones as well, but Jouer were the first ones to come up with those. And yeah, I think it's very wearable, it looks very wearable in their swatches, but I got the matte ones because I usually grab those for a work day and everything. But yeah, these are very comfortable on the lips and also they are pretty long lasting. They last about a good 4 hours before they start fading, they do not crumble at all, they are very evenly wearing off and they don't give me that kind of, you know, crusty inner lip thing that comes when, you know, your saliva has contact with the product on the lips. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about these products and they're mostly good things. I think that are these worth the price point? I think they are because compared to the other liquid lipsticks out there, these are the ones that have very unique shade range. They're also really handy in size and they're very wearable. Every nude is very wearable. Even the lighter shades, they're not too... How would I describe it? They're not too light. That makes people of deeper, darker skin tones to look really uh, washed out. They still have an undertone of the pinks and peaches that come through that make it look like a nude and not really like a white, if that makes sense. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you want to see my full in-depth thoughts about me using these over the course of a month, then do check out my blog post where I give you everything in there. Lip swatches, true to color pictures, you know, my full in-depth review in words in a list form, which is a quick and easy read of about three minutes. Then do check out that blog post. And if you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. With that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!